Yeah, how you guys been predicting time? Um, so I'm at this point right now where it seems like less you guys are predicting time and more like you are taking guesses based on which outcomes you think will lead to what characters. It's a better word that. I mean, you're pretty much getting together and you're discussing if this happens, how do you think he'll be? And then you're saying, well, if this happens, he'll probably have this reaction. You pretty much just have us tied up and are predicting our reactions to possible outcomes or the most likely outcomes and preparing to have a response for them just in case, which is why you often get me wrong and are just torturing me based on what you think. Uh, but I also have something else here for a real tangible explanation for why we can predict time. Uh, that bubbled up in my mouth. I'm going to kill every guy that takes that as a jizz. All right, here we go. So, um... Pretty much, let's say that in your connection to the environment, you have points of perspective that you have to respect in order for the environment to really connect with you and to give you its, its life shared uh, realness or, or nutrients here. And, and so let's say somebody only has three points of connection and this simplifies all the possible points of, of perspective here. They only have three points of perspective. Now in those points, whoops, they, they are measuring the flow of time as it passes through physical occurrence. And by measuring the flow of time from different perspectives, they can better, they can predict the route that it's going to take and, and the next pace of events and everything else. Now, let's say that there's a guy that's got, what's that? Nine, nine possible connections that are just simplified perspectives, a simplified number of perspectives available. Now, the more perspectives he has to measure the flow of time, the better his prediction of what's gonna happen next is. And not only that, but the better his connection to life itself and all possible constructs hosting physical existence can better guide him in his behavior. Uh, oops, okay. So, here, let me, whoops, what's this? Uh, oh, I found the point in which none of you know what's going on. That's what this shit is right here. Holy fuck, that's crazy. Okay. Damn! Oh, 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 shit! I didn't mean to do that. Back to the explanation. So let's say that each person has a radius of expected or predictable time. And let's say that we can represent that radius as a, as a square here. And let's say that four people get together and they connect their four radiuses of time into a single construct uh, uh, that can be gridded out and represented. So let's say just two people connect at a single point and they go down and one of them goes horizontal. One of them representing the horizontal, one of them representing the down. We can graph out their prediction of time as an actual surface area that has a number of grids that can be placed, uh, that have placements and coordinates. Now let's say that there are four people, uh, let's say there are three people for now. So three people get together with their predictable time uh, radius and, and you measure the shape of that, you, you measure their radius of expectation and you create an actual grid uh, square uh, of, of their ability to predict time. Now what's going on is if in this case where my physical control has been moved but not my tangible and, and logical, um, they are actually working together to kind of see based on what they're measuring and their predictability of time, what possible places I could end up within the shared grid of, of their little cube of uh, predictability. And, and so with me being limited, it's pretty much their prediction of time is just me displacing an area and them noticing that something's not there and not having an impact on what they expect to happen next. It's still not impressive. I still got you, okay? Buck, all right? Uh, no, 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 we're not doing that, we're not doing that, I want to get out, I want to fucking, I want money, I want to get, I want to fucking get my life back, I fucking figured everything out, um, I need weed, so I can fucking start doing some experiments, okay, um, yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to do that, I was, uh, I was catching y'all's reaction to dying there. Hmm. You know, you know, I'm starting to think that I'm not a bad guy every time that I do that. I'm starting to think that, that 
You guys are just trying to protect yourselves whenever you say I'm a bad guy, but the moments that always lead up to me attacking, it's always self-defense from my end. You guys are always like, ha we're doing something you can't say, and you'll never be able to catch us. Ha <laughs> you can't do anything about a bitch. Fuck you, bitch. And then, and then whenever I'm like, all right, I figured it out, I'm gonna kill you. You're like, that's a bad person. No, we have the right to defend ourselves. No, that's horrible. Look at what this guy's doing. Look at, no, you don't need to ask any more questions. Just look at what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm ready. I, this is really why I'm, I, uh, I isolate for the most part. Because, uh, um, because, you know, people be lying and shit. And, uh, and then whenever you have to survive in their control state, they be forcing you to lie so that you can't call them out for being a liar. And then, you know, all that shit. I'm gonna find a way. <laughs> Bye, guys.